Well, I am Marta, I am a student of the Official Idioms School and I am going to talk about my presentation. A few months ago I talked about my evolution of English. Uh, for my presentation I used a laptop and uh, for my, par my partners I used a paper with, with gap fillings. Uh, my exposition, my exposition uh, started with an introduction um, with invasion and German tribes. Uh, the German tribes were uh, Angels, Saxon, Frisian, French and Jews. The last point, the last point was the, the period. The first period was the Old English from uh, 450 to uh, 1100. In this period uh, there, are, uh, there were uh, many Latin words uh, and the Romans also give English words uh, like anchor, butter, chess, devil and other ones. The next period uh, was where the Middle English from 1,100 to 1,500. In this period, it is very typical. The Beautiful is a epic, uh, epic poem. The, la, uh, the next period was the the Middle English. No, sorry. <laughs> The early modern English uh, from 155,000 uh, to 1,600. Uh, In this period, is very typical. A uh, very typical person uh, was William Shakespeare. And the last one point uh, is the modern English from. 1650 uh, up to now. And this is my presentation. Thank you very much. Why do you think that people write the name of William Shakespeare in different ways? Well, because there were uh, authors for different countries and they pronounce it in different ways. Why was Shakespeare so important in this time? Because William Shakespeare was a wonderful writer and it's a genius. And uh, why do many words have to do the same spelling in different languages? Because those countries were invited by uh, Germanic tribes. And any more questions? No, no it's okay. okay. I think it's okay. Okay, thank you very much.